have you been a victim? Hmm. Have you been a victim of getting a copyright strike? Are you upset? Hmm. Would you like to know more? Do you have the fight in you like I do? Well, need not to go any other video. I understand these other videos, these other, uh, you know, things on YouTube. They don't really be specific on how to go ahead and beat this. Well, in this video, I'm going to be as specific as I can be. So if you have been a victim of that good old copyright strike, I'm going to show you how to beat it. And I'm going to tell you what went into my mindset of beating it. So not on this channel, but I'll put the video in the description. So, you know, I, I dealt with a YouTuber that, you know, was just feeling himself. Let's just be real. He was feeling himself and he copyright struck me, right? The reason why he copyright struck me because I used a little bit of his content but, you know, YouTube is going to automatically, you know, anybody use your content, they're going to go ahead, you know, they do a good job of letting you know, right? So I don't know if he did his due diligence or not, but evidently, you know, he must have, he must have not, because if he would have did, he would have never, ever put that strike on me, right? So he put the strike on me, right? And, hey, I reached out to him. I said, yo, you know, um, you know, because usually... See, let, let me tell y'all something. They be like, oh, give credit. And you don't have to give credit to, to the content creator, right? As long as you do what you were supposed to do and making sure that it, that it falls under fair use, you don't have to give credit, right? But in this particular instance, I didn't give credit. But usually I want to try to go ahead and get credit, you know, and, you know, to do, and, and do the good thing, you know, and be honest. Be like, yo, so, you know, I'm doing this reaction. And, you know, this is such and such video. If you want to see the full video, go ahead. Usually I try to do that, right? Especially on people who's about their business on here, right? But I didn't do it in this particular instance, right? And so, so he, like I said, he struck me. So, I, you know, gave him the opportunity. I gave him a nice professional email, you know, regarding like, yo, I understand that, you know, I didn't give you credit and such. You know, can you go ahead and do that? So for it, so he got big headed and didn't want to respond. So I gave him two hours to respond. Didn't respond. So I said, okay, well, here we go. So I understand, you know, some of y'all may not go ahead, you know, and, you know, provide the information of going ahead and appealing it because some, inf some personal information must be, you know, had. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. Look, if this is your business... If this is how you eat, if this is how you want to eat, we'll understand, you know, hey, this must be done, right? Because one thing's for sure is you don't want it. You don't want them copyright strikes, you know, because, you know, it affects your videos and it affects the traffic going on to your channel. So you don't want that. So I, I sent my appeal in, right? So he has 10 days to respond, right? So am I thinking, you know, most people don't have lawyers, right? And even if he did have a lawyer, the lawyer would have told him, yo, this is not a fight that you want to have, right? So most people just lay down and I'm not the type of dude to lay down. So I fought. So the 10 days went past. Hey, he didn't fight it. He didn't have nothing. I won. I got my video reinstated. And everything was everything, right? He was upset, you know, but hey, it is what it is. So now, you guys, I wanted to see if y'all was going to go ahead and stake. I know some of y'all went on ahead and left. Hey, that's y'all bad. You, you're going to miss out on this blessing because one thing's for sure, the information that I'm about to go ahead and give you in this video. See, this ain't going to be no fancy editing and all that. This is going to get right here and be as formative as possible. You have to go to no other video but this one. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to win. So me and YouTube had a discussion, right? I already knew that, but me and YouTube had, had a better understanding. See, one thing's for sure was only used maybe about a couple minutes of a three-hour live that he had. Well, that's fair use because not only was my face in it to make it transformative, you know, the majority of the content was me, right? It was just a little clip of what he got going on, right? But hey. He wanted to go ahead and film himself. So let me go ahead and read 
some of the things that me and you two had discussed, right? To give you guys a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into and for you not to be a victim, for to go ahead and give you guys the courage to go ahead and stand up to these YouTube bullies, man. You know? So this how it was, right? I'm going here. Me and YouTube, we was on, we was talking for a good 30 minutes to an hour, right? I know they probably tired of me. Well, it don't matter, right? So I'm gonna get gonna give you the, the points that matter, right? So I wanna I don't wanna have you here all day, even though I should. <laughs> but so look, so YouTube had to do their due diligence, right? So if somebody go ahead and file a claim of fair use, YouTube has to do their due diligence. They have to go ahead and comply with it, right? So just understand, hey, if it popped up, they're going to comply. Like, it's going to automatically get you, right? So it would be good if somebody can do the good thing and put in their work and not do it or understand, you know, what the copyright do. They do this and not do it. But, hey, if you got to go through it, hey, just don't get mad at YouTube because YouTube got to do it to, to protect themselves, right? So you must... Be thorough to protect yourself, right? So here we go, right? So fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected material under circumstances, under certain circumstances without the copyright owner's permission, right? So you don't necessarily have to give somebody credit. But, you know, if you want to go ahead and be honest, you know what I mean, and show love, you know what I mean? Just because, you know, you will probably want that to be done to you, right? So you go ahead, just be a good man or a good woman and go ahead and get it done, right? But if you don't have to, you don't have to, right? So in the United States, only a court can decide what quality, what qualifies as fair use, right? So, so this, so, so, so when I put in my claim, right, my appeal, the only way that he was going to win is if the courts would have seen it his way. But seeing how most YouTube content creators don't want to go all the way for a video such as that, you're going to win just off a of default, right? But there's certain, there's certain things that you will lose, right? But I want to go ahead and allow and, and speak on doing things the right way. And I'll go ahead and touch on doing things the wrong way as well. So look, so here we go. So the courts rely on four factors to decide fair use on a case-by-case -case basis, right? One, the purpose and the character of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and, sub and, sub <clears throat> and substantiality of the copyrighted work used, the effect on the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. Okay? Now, excuse me, I'm, I'm reading my little screenshots, right? So, we got a little bit specific, right? We just got a little bit specific, right? So courts typically focus on whether the use is transformative. That is whether it adds new expression or meaning to the original or whether it merely copies from the original commercial use or less likely to be considered fair, though it's possible to monetize a video and still be fair use. So basically, right? So if I took a clip, so say for instance, if I took like a five minute clip of yours, right? Say for instance, or you did a five minute video, right? A five minute, see one thing I like to do is I don't like to take the full live. I'll take clips from the live or if, you know, people be doing interviews and they do little clips, I'll do them clips, right? And I'll make sure to put my commentary on there, right? Transform it in the best way that I can. So yeah, I may be using a piece of your content, but one thing's for sure, my imprint is on it and there's no debate about it. That's what you want to go ahead to win your fair use cases, right? So here we go. Using material from primarily factual works is more likely to be fair than using purely fictional works, right? The amount it's a, it's a, okay, hold on, hold on, let's go. Okay, so borrowing small bits of material from an original work is more likely to be considered fair use. Y'all hear that? That's what I've been talking about, right? Then borrowing large portions. However, if it's the heart of the work, even a small amount may weigh against fair use, right? So pretty much, you know, if it's all of it, if it wasn't a big portion, if it's all of it, and you didn't go ahead and make it transform transformative, it's a possibility that you can lose. So if I did a two-minute video, right, 
and I didn't transform, right? And I just, you know how you see a lot of people, they'll go ahead and just, you know, pretty much just take the work. They may go ahead and have their video screen. They really ain't doing nothing about it. They might have put a couple of graphics on it, but it's still the pretty much the original video from what they took it from. Yeah, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit. If you didn't transform that content, you're going to get hit. So let's go ahead. So the effect or the use upon the potential market for a value of the copyrighted work. So uses that harm the copyright owner's ability to profit from their original work or less likely to be fair uses. So like I said, if you go ahead and take that video and it's pretty much just put it as your own and maybe just add like a thumbnail or something like that, that ain't going to work. You most likely will lose that, right? So it's, it's important, whether you criticize and give your praise or whatever, it's important that you go ahead and transform that content, right? Transform is the key word. Not using 100% of the content is what you want to do, right? You would, you would like to be in the 20% or less range, but if you go a little bit and still make a, and you still make a transformative, you'll be okay. I'm, I promise you, you'll be okay, right? So courts have sometimes made an exception under this factor in cases involving parodies, right? So as you can see, right? So I want y'all to go in my video, right? In the description, I want you to click that video at fair use, right? I screenshotted some of that live and put my content. I got my intro song on there and then I got me talking. Yo, get ready. We got to get in this content. Yes, I didn't give him credit, but hey, evidently I didn't have to, right? And so, bam, I put my two cents on it. Hey, I'm stopping and starting. So, so people who do them type of reactions, right? When you see them stop and start and they facing it, that's cool. I mean, you will want to protect yourself. You will want your face in it if you can, right? But there are certain things. So if you don't put your face in it and you like alter the video, like put writings on it and stuff like that and still not using it, you'll be okay with that too, right? But the safest way is to have your face in the camera, right? But if you can't, for some reason you don't know how, just make sure that you alter the content as much as possible, right? Still go ahead and have the content that you're using, right? Because you don't want to alter it, just mess it up, right? But alter it as much as possible and make sure that you don't use the full thing, right? And because that's basically what it is, right? Try to use, like I said, less than 20% and make it transformative, right? If you criticize it, so what? They can't get mad at that. You see, one thing's for sure, right? A lot of these content creators don't understand fair use and don't understand how this how it works, right? So they'll go ahead and they'll just see you pop up and they'll go ahead and copyright strike. Boom, copyright strike, copyright strike, copyright strike. And they don't know, right? And so then, you know, when it comes down to, yes, it's a 10-day process. To, yes, right? It'll be better if they can go ahead and take their due diligence and either not do it or go ahead and retract it, right? But, hey, some said that, hey, some of that retraction take a little work so they want to put in the work, right? So, bam. So, let me have, so let me tell you something. Now, if they continue to copyright strike people, right, and it comes to find out that they have no legitimate grounds to do so, they will lose their channel pretty soon, right? You can go ahead and fight for that channel, you know, to be taken, right? Enough people go ahead and, and just see, hold on, you keep copyright striking people and you have no case and you go ahead and you two don't want that. So, yes. There's a possibility that the, that their channel or high, a good high possibility, if they keep on, that their channel will be took down, right? Now, if they did it once or twice, you know what I'm saying? More than likely, nah, especially if they if that YouTube is bringing some type of, you know, traffic to the YouTube thing. Because, you know, everything is a business, right? That's what y'all got to understand, right? Everything is a business. So, you got to do your due diligence in business, right? You got to protect yourself in business, right? There's certain type of content credit that, you know, I'll do something like just to kind of build a rapport, be like, hey, you know what? I like your content, man. Can I go ahead, man? And um, I want to use some of your content, right? I, if I want to use the whole thing, I'll be like, that's when I really get in, right? You got to have that permission, right? If you want to use the whole thing, try to get that permission, right? And there's a few content creators that they responded that I have their permission, to go ahead and use the full thing, right? So, hey, if I ever had to fight that, 
I, hey, if they ever just was feeling froggy and they wanted to leave, well, I had the proof that you gave me the permission to go ahead and use your whole content. Now you retracted it back. I'm going to win because you gave me permission, right? And it's written and it's on written record. So I'm going to win that, right? So it's good to go ahead, you know, and build up, and, you know, build up a sisterhood, brotherhood, or whatever the case may be, or however you want to do it, right? It's good to build that up YouTube, right? Because one thing's for sure, right? On this YouTube, this platform, everybody can eat, right? But the common understanding that everybody won't eat on this platform, right? So that's just a, you know, just an acceptance for wherever it be something they may not be doing wrong. It, 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 a lot of times it's something that you're doing wrong gets you the reason why you won't eat. Or you just ain't got no good content. Hey, it is what it is, right? But usually, you know, you just protect yourself, right? If you're using all that content and it ain't transforming, if you're just using it and then just go ahead, you use using full lies, full videos, and then go ahead and profit off of that, you're about to get hit and you're about to lose, Right, you're gonna lose. Right, YouTube is gonna see it. Sometimes YouTube will be like, you know what? We seen it, and hey, we're not gonna go ahead with this content because it falls under our guidelines. Right. So yes, you're gonna have to just deal with uninformed people, people that don't want to see you win, people that's hating on you. You're gonna do. You probably gonna have to deal with that, right? Because I'm sure that you know it's possibility that they might not be the last time somebody feeling a little froggy, right? Usually, sometimes they mess around and they'll just go ahead and just take the fun from that thing, right? You got to fight that too, but they'll take the fun, but they won't strike you though. This man wanted to go ahead and he just got big headed and he struck me. So I'm like, all right, man. So you're really not about to get it now, right? Because at the end of the day, they came to see my reaction to that, right? Because I, I do a whole bunch of reactions on my channels, right? I got a couple channels that just the majority of it is reactions, whether you know the content is in it or not, right? Yeah, there's one. I got a channel where it's just all me, but there's a couple channels where it's just pretty much just reactions, right? And that's a lot of what YouTube is. When it comes down to it, we're talking about things, we're reacting to things, right? So, you know, it's imperative that you go ahead and just do your due diligence, protect yourself, right? You know, and, you know, if you can go ahead and build up that little thing, right? Bam, right? Because there's certain people that do got, like... You know, uh, uh, you know, little things, little, little, uh, little lawyers and things like that that copyright all their stuff and they'll strike you, boom, 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 right? And you're gonna have, you're gonna have to have a little fight on you, especially if you didn't do your due diligence, right? But like I said, if you do your due diligence, you're gonna overcome that. You're gonna overcome it, right? So there's a lot of y'all right now that was scared to go ahead and appeal it. Y'all just took it. Well, I'm here to tell y'all right now, get get that heart. You see your heart beating. You see it beating? That's because it, that's because you got that fight inside of you, right? So you're going to lay down and allow somebody who didn't even do their due diligence to go ahead and take your money or take your potential money away from from that video? You're going to allow that? You're going to allow them to... You, you, come on, man. I thought y'all was better than that. I thought y'all had more fight. Y'all hopped on YouTube, right? Not everybody can do it. It seemed easy, but it ain't easy. You got to put you gotta put your blood, sweat, and tears on it, even though you on the channel of a high-value loke. You understand me? So, I mean, that's just what it is, man. But I hope y'all done messed around and got clarification. You know, the process ain't that bad. You just gonna have to put your email, a number, you know, your name and things like that. And I understand there's some people that don't want that out there, right? But hey, it is what it is, right? Because it'll hurt them more in the long run if they try to put your personal information out there, right? They can mess around and lose everything, right? And I'm pretty sure that, you know, these people should be smarter than that, right? But anywho, man, y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. We up out of here.